Well, hello. So I'm sitting here by the trail, Pippawa Trail, I think. And there is a beautiful sunset happening out there. And the rest of the family is still up on the mountain somewhere. And it's raining just a bit, so there's a beautiful rainbow. So this is my third video of this trail, the Pippawa Trail, I think it's called. <laughs> I had to stop and get the new camera ready so that I can show you the rest of the trail. Hello. I gave up. Oh. <laughs> well, what a nice place. Well, that's what I thought. Remind me to put my backpack on the arm that does not have the watch on it next time because I always put my last arm through there. Okay, so I'll turn this chair over and we will hold it like so on my dress. I have to make sure my dress is under it. Okay, and now let's carry on makes it much brighter than it really is. It's much darker than this. These are mango trees again. Lots of mango trees. I used to eat mangoes under the mango tree in Jamaica. I ate avocados in Miami in an avocado tree, which I had climbed. Coming up these stairs at the beginning, I wasn't sure that I was going to be able to make it with all these stairs. You know, I'd probably be better off on these sidewalks, you know? Or even on the smooth road, that would be the best. These hurt my knees, you know. It's pretty steep for my well-used knees. One of the first things I asked someone was if there was it was it all stairs, and they said yes, pretty well. There's a few places where it flattens out. And I was very grateful to have the chair on because I knew that I could not do stairs for hours. This is an interesting building. Let's have a look at that. I think I'll start a new video when I get there. If, perhaps. Perhaps not. Much easier to go down a slope, a ramp, than it is to go down the stairs. Aha! That's the last of the stairs. I have done it. So look at this. Now, this is the, the way these are constructed. Oh look, good morning moon. So let's read this about it. Hali Halawai, house for meeting, eating, exchanging. And so, in order to construct this, they made a frame of holly, which is that end is not the same now, is it? They've only got, oh yes it is, the center and the other ones. Ah, I see, so they, they use the rest around it for scaffolding. An inhabited dwelling or family housed, 
a traditional Hawaiian house, a place to sleep and to store personal possessions, a house used for storing, displaying, and trading, a multi-use structure to make or store things, including both goods and knowledge. Building a traditional holly today. Hawaiians build houses today using the knowledge passed down by their elders with traditional and modern materials. Cutting the posts. The posts are cut with modern tools, but the style follows the ancient traditions of holly building. Today, wood is treated for insects. Lashing the ridge poles and roof arch. Today, nylon cords lash together the ridge poles and roof arches, but the lashing knots follow ancient Hawaiian forms. Years ago, lashings were made from coconut fibers. Ha, oh, I hear my family. Thatching the roof. Materials for thatching walls and roofs include pili grass, kai li leaves, and in the Kipahulu area, native lulu palm fronds, a modern day holly, holly wai uses these natural thatching materials whenever possible. So let's have a little look at it. We'll go to the end. Oh, look at this. Isn't that nice? Very big, isn't it? Okay, that's all.